Okay, so guys, welcome to Ardino Kids, and I am Ocean from Ardino Kids. Okay, so uh, you can see a push button in here. Okay, so you can see it. So it's a switch. Okay, we can uh, tell it as a sensor also because it senses the push we give. Okay, so. For this we need jumper wires, okay, so, and uh, resistor, okay, so, can take around 10k or somewhere, okay, so, uh, LED, and actually we need three jumper wires, okay, and especially the sensing thin push button, okay, so there are various push buttons, you can take any of them. So there are two in my hand and I'll show some of them, some of other push buttons also. Oh no, uh, yeah only these two are there, okay so, see, so I'm using the small one, okay so, first we should attach this to the breadboard and, oh sorry, uh, we should need, we actually need a breadboard also and uh, we should attach the resistor like this okay so you can see it okay like this okay so like this and then the jumper wire to here okay so then just leave it and then fix the LED positive terminal to the resistors other end and the negative terminal to the negative line of the board okay so uh, then we should actually we need the Arduino board also so I have connected this for the laptop and you can connect this for even the power source uh, no code is required and we only need, we are only using the 5 volt pin and ground pin so in this circuit even we can use a battery because we can do this using any power source any power supply okay so we should first fix the ground to the LEDs ground okay so like this okay so and the black wire that means the um, 5 volt 5 volt pin wire okay so fix it uh, to the what do you call the push buttons one end okay so in a push button uh, i'll explain that actually in a push button these two terminals and these two terminals are attached that means one pin is going through these two and if you connect one wire to one pin in here and one pin in here another wire like example if you connect like this like this and if you connect the LEDs positive terminal like this and then the 5 volt pin like this it will start up okay start up means it will light up because these two are these two pins are attached and uh, there are, there is no resistance between these two and if we pin it here because nothing is here and it's here and if we pin it here you can see uh, okay so if we pin it here you can see it's not light up when i push this button it's light up and if we should that means if we push one time like this okay so when we are pushing only this light is lighting up and we if we release even by one push uh, this could light up by a code uh, I'll, I'll okay so uh, we can do the code even but this is the simple way okay so we can use this for actually like drill machines Okay, so we are pressing it and when we release it it's 
the mode is turning off so the same theory is in most of the um, what do you call like the horn if you push the horn it's giving the sound and then if we release it stop the sound and you can see we can use this cable to give the power and okay so uh, that's all in this video and please sure to subscribe and also like our videos and please don't forget to share our videos because other people also can learn about this Arduino board because this is the next world generation and because we can use this for improvement of our generations and um, and we can improve our mind and knowledge about Arduino that means about robotics by this Arduino board by learning about this Arduino board okay so uh, thank you for watching bye i'll see you in the next week